So I had a company called the Hippie Crafter reach out and they were like, would you like to sample some of our art supplies? First of all, look at their adorable packaging. How can I say no to them? That's so cute. So I, they sent me some acrylic paint markers, which I'm super excited to use because I pretty much only talk about and recommend Posca pens, but I know there's a lot of people that make paint pens. So I'm hoping they're gonna be great. I have high hopes because I wanna be able to support, you know, smaller family owned businesses. So come on, hippie crafters, let's go. So these are the colors. I'm gonna do a full demo. I did, I was demoing some watercolors and I made these little blobs and I'm gonna take the blobs, I'm gonna make them in a fish and I'm gonna be using only these paint markers. I'll let you know exactly what I think, good or bad, when I return, all right? All right, hang tight. All right, so let's unpack this set of 25. I have to say, I really love the colors that come in this set. And it also comes with a little packet of replaceable chisel shaped nibs as well if you want a different nib on there which is always nice each one is individually wrapped which is kind of a pain in the butt but two of the colors actually had leaked during shipping as you can see on that one and it was fine because they were individually wrapped and the ink just dried onto the barrel so it ended up not getting over everything so and that is pretty typical um, so there's the replacement nibs I was just mentioning, and that is the pink that I, you can see is taped. The barrels are definitely of cheaper quality. The, the barrel is just wrapped in like a black sticker. So they're a little bit basic, but for only a dollar a marker, that is about what I would expect. And then here's how you get the ink flowing in one of these. If you're new to using paint markers, and they all work pretty much the same, the barrel is filled with acrylic ink, and you have to unwrap the marker, and then you have to get the ink flowing inside. So you take the nib, and you, first of all, shake your barrel a little bit, then you depress the nib onto a piece of scrap paper, and you basically wait for the ink to flow from the back of the barrel down through the fibers of the nib. Give it a little shake, keep depressing it, and eventually the ink will start flowing. Now, second to barrel quality and characteristics, the next most important thing to me is the opacity of the acrylic ink that's inside of the pens. So I'm looking for how well does each color cover the areas that I'm working with. Um, the very first green that I tested, you can see the opacity is not awesome. So I was off to like a, mm, like a shady start, but then actually right away for most of the other colors, Actually, the opacity was pretty good. I don't know what was up with that first green, but, and you can just see for yourself. So I'll let the footage run here um, for a little bit so you can actually sort of see each color as I'm testing them. Um, black is very important that that opacity is nice and strong since white and black are the most important colors, at least to me when I'm using paint pens. Um, and I'll talk uh, a lot more about the white at the very end of this video. Um, so you can see so far the colors are good. So I'll let this run. You can be the judge for yourself on what you think about the opacity is on all of these. Um, they're not as opaque as Posca's out the bat, I do have to say. But again, they're half as much. So you sort of are getting half as much as what you pay for as well. So I will have, um, I will have a conclusive sort of uh, rundown at the end of this. So just take a watch for a minute and, and you can judge for yourself and then I'll wrap it up at the end. Don't you wanna have fun? Fool around someone. Don't you wanna have fun? Said that they don't got a future, future like that. It burns, so give him something worse to kill his head with, make him forget somehow. Might be that another day she would have wished he stayed, but they're done. Sorry, it won't be enough this time. Yeah, he's calling all his friends to get some action and distract him right now. He's fine. But Lucy on the line, let's get this started Where's the party tonight? I feel good, nothing weighs me down I can't believe my love right now Red eyes while he said Don't you wanna have fun? Fool around with someone Don't you wanna have fun? Never mind my dumb heart It needs a little kickstart Alright
right, so here's the debrief on the paint markers. They are great for beginners. I think they'd be great for kids. And they're great if you want all the colors and you don't want to break the bank. They are half price of Posca's and I think that's an appropriate price range for them. For a dollar a piece, I think that's perfect. You wouldn't want to spend any more on these. I do think it's awesome that you get so many colors for so little money. The most all of the colors have good opacity, which means like how solid they are, which is important to me, except for the white. This was the one big kind of major drawback I found, which is that when people buy paint pens, especially people like me who are in the mixed media space, the white is kind of everything. And it's also the one, in addition to the black, that you're going to use most often. And the fact that it's not opaque is kind of not good. Um, so I don't you don't want to rely on the white that comes with this set for doing like I couldn't even do the fish's eyes because the white was just uh it was so transparent it just washed immediately into the watercolors so that was the only like if I was and I will t the, this company will be watching this but if I my biggest piece of advice for hippie crafter is if you can really work on your white uh make that super rock solid opaque that will actually elevate your entire pack because mixed media artists are going to start with your white and use that the most out of all the colors so that's the most important color to nail and it's the only one that I don't think that they did so um, but again, if you're short on cash or you're buying for a child or a teenager or you're strapped for cash, this is a great set. I mean, you get a ton of colors for very little money. So I think that's good value. Um, if you were, um, you know, if you're a mixed media artist and, uh, or you want something that has a little bit more refinement, I just felt like the quality was more appropriate for like a kid than a fine artist. Um, I would choose something like Posca over these. I just thought that the, um, the nibs were like a little, um, they're like just a little rugged. So you don't get that kind of like fine line. These have, were a little bit um, like scratchier on my page because they were they were kind of large. Um, and the fibers were a little bit thicker, if that makes sense. So they didn't kind of, they weren't applied like as cleanly. That's being super nitpicky because I'm such a marker, like I'm obsessed with markers. Um, but that is my true and honest opinion and my feedback for the company and my feelings on the markers. If you enjoy product reviews, click the link and you can watch some more. Thanks for watching.